So today I had a core biopsy done at the hospital on this growth on the side of my neck. And the procedure wasn't painful at all. You just lay there and they put some numbing. They, well, you basically lay there and they do an ultrasound of the growth uh and identify like if there's any like veins or arteries near it and then they disinfect the area and then they numb the area and then they do the core biopsy i think she told me she took five or six cores it's pretty large growth um and then I was dismissed, uh, told to keep it clean and dry for a few days. And um, if there was any pain or discharge, to basically call the doctor and let him know. Um, for about an hour or two afterwards, it was pretty sore. Um, but the actual procedure itself, not painful at all. Um, I probably hurt myself way worse around my homestead uh, it was really like uneventful but anyways it's um basically the biopsy is being done to try to um identify whether or not i have an infection or potentially cancer or maybe some other um, condition um, and I don't really have a lot of information I've not really told a lot of people um, very close family my mom my sister and one or two of my closest friends outside of that I feel fine I've not really lost any weight but I've gotten extremely weak. Um, I, I should back up. I feel fine mentally. I feel fine physically for the most part. Um, I've not lost any weight. I've not lost an appetite or anything like that. Um, I can't remember if it started before the lump or after. But my right shoulder is extremely painful like in the bone pain and I can't really explain that any other way like you know what a muscle pain feels like but this is a bone pain it's it's pretty consistent pretty bad many people would probably take pain pills for it but I really I'm not a person to take pain pills um, this this uh, growth in my neck is why I shaved my beard off. And um, I haven't really told anybody, not even people at work. I mean, they know I'm going to the doctor fairly regularly. I mean, I've seen my personal doctor. I saw, uh, had a CT scan done at the hospital. Then I saw an ENT. And uh, now I'm on a, you know, I went through a round of, antibiotics and now I saw a radiologist for a biopsy um, all this stuff's expensive by the way <laughs> I've spent about three thousand dollars out of pocket already in four or five visits you know the CT scan was twelve hundred and some dollars the biopsy today was like Fourteen or fifteen hundred dollars. You know, it's just all, all expensive. Um, but the reason why I haven't really told anybody because this could really be nothing, or it could be something pretty serious, and I don't want to go one way or the other until I find out what it is and. No matter what it is, I'm just going to deal with it. Um, it's no different than 
any other thing, you know, if, if you're not being challenged with hardships, then how are you expected to grow? And this is just a challenge and a hardship both in one package, and I'll deal with it just like I deal with everything else. So that's really all I have to say right now. Um, the biopsy results are supposed to be back in, uh, she said about three to five business days, and I had it done on a Thursday, so I'm guessing Friday, Monday, Tuesday. So maybe Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday of next week, I should know something. I don't know if they're going to just call and tell me the results or make another appointment where I have to go in. I have no idea. But uh, um, I don't really have anything else. I kind of like have a sudden urge. I feel like I got all this stuff I need to do. Um, numerous people have said, you need to make sure you got everything in order. <laughs> and... This is, and numerous doctors have said, this is not looking good. <laughs> but, you know, I'm pretty confident that I'll handle it one way or the other, just like everything else. And I'm only making this video now. Originally, I wasn't going to tell anybody. Uh, the cat just fell asleep on my lap and literally fell over. But, uh, I wasn't originally going to tell anybody, and just whatever happened, happened. And uh, now I kind of feel like I want to tell the story from start to finish because maybe it'll help somebody else. No matter what happens, you know. Um, if it's cancer, maybe I'll beat it and give somebody hope. Uh, if it's something simple maybe i'll give someone hope that maybe thinks they have cancer um if it's cancer and i die well you know we god has a plan and i'm not god and you're not god and the doctors aren't god either so uh it's just the way it works out <laughs>